Right, welcome back to the solar power shed. An update video of the things that have changed since the introduction video. Let's go inside and take a look. In fact, quite a lot has changed. So, here we are. Now, one of the changes, the small 300 watt Victron inverter has been replaced with this four kilowatt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, we've got two UK main sockets. One on the left, the grey one, that is going to the house to feed electricity into the house and on the right is just a local supply to feed some things inside the shed. Now I was talking about upgrading the batteries, which I've done. This is, I had the batteries originally for a 7 series, 5 parallel bank of batteries, which I did, that all worked nicely, so nicely. I thought I'd do the same again. So we've got two banks of seven series, uh, five parallel. Uh, each cell is 20 amp hour. That gives 100 amp hour at 28 volts here and another 100 amp hours at 28 volts here. So, so 200 amp hour, just under six kilowatt hour in total. We've got two BGAS battery monitors, one on each bank of cells to monitor the voltage and it has an active balancer so we can also set them to balance which they're fairly well balanced anyway the cells are all bought at the same time they're the same age so we also have the software set up now for the uh, EP Ever Tracer solar charge controller uh, which is here and we have the DC mate distribution unit to feed the solar panels into the charge controller. Just have one panel there connected at the moment. But if I just plug some others in, one moment. So that's one panel connected at the moment. We can pop up on the screen uh, the output power so we can see we're doing uh, 230 watts at the moment. So that's panel number one. Just plug in panel number two, and we should see this jump up. So that goes up to 458 watts. Panel number three, pop that one in, and that goes up to 679 watts, 680 watts. Uh, panels four and six, I won't connect straight away because they've got a little bit of shade on them. Uh, panel number five, that can go in. That's got no shade on it, so uh, we're up to 900 and just 900 watts. And just out of interest, I'll plug in panel number four. Let's see what uh, extra we get from panel number four. Not a great deal. As I said, that's got shade on it at the moment. So we're up to 909 watts and panel number six so that's all six panels now connected and we can see we're up to 920 watts panels uh, panels four and six are the right hand panels they have shade on them up until about one o'clock half past one um, and then all afternoon all six panels have no shade on them so other things that have changed one of the reasons I wanted this inverter, quite an important reason for me, is that it has this remote power switch, which is then just connected into the bottom of the inverter here. So what I'm now able to do is remotely switch the inverter on and off, which I'm doing through the load output of the EP Ever Tracer charge controller, which is this small cable here, that load output is then connected into this relay, so it's energising this relay when the load is switched on. Nothing else is connected to the uh, load output, by the way. Uh, and then two of the contacts here are uh, two of the relay contacts, they're hardwired onto the back of the switch. So when the relay closes, the switch is on and the inverter is on. What that allows me to do is in the software and I'll probably make another video going through the setup of the software in some more detail 
is I'm able then to automatically switch off the load from the charge controller when the battery voltage drops below a certain level. That then switches the inverter off and then the batteries don't drain anymore. So I can set the lower limit of the batteries with the solar charge controller. Now when this happens, at the moment the house will be with no power. Um, I am going to make an automatic transfer switch using this contactor, but that will be a future video. Not built that yet. So that's where we are. If you have any questions, pop it in the comments and I'll uh, perhaps make some more videos with any questions that anyone may have. Okay, thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.